welcome back to my channel my name is katie and i'm so excited to be sharing with you this lesson for the day it's actually not new because i already discussed it last year and i feel like it needs a little updating to do <laughs> all right so i'm talking about the resize option for canva and it's actually available for the paid accounts i will be discussing more about that are you ready let's go ahead and get started As I was discussing earlier, this feature is available to those who have paid Canva accounts. That means if you have Canva Pro account, you are able to use this. Also, those with Canva for Education, Canva for Nonprofits, or Canva for Enterprise accounts may also use this feature because this is also available for them. All right, so that means those with Canva free accounts are not able to use this feature. But the good thing is that you can still try it because you can actually sign up for the 30 days free trial for Canva Pro. So I will leave a link on the description of this video so that you can just click it and then avail of that 30 days. Note that if you sign up using your mobile phone or your iPad, or tablet in general you will only be given 14 days but if you sign up using your browser or your computer or even the canva desktop then you will get 30 days free trial okay so let's go and get started i'm gonna open up instagram post right here so this will be our first document and it's the document that we will be resizing as well now let me just remind you as well that this feature is actually really good if you want to improve your workflow that means you want to make your work faster or if you are a social media manager and you are managing different accounts across different platforms then resizing your documents will be a breeze already so just for our demo today i'm just going to randomly choose a file or a template that we can use so here's how our template looks like. So what I'm going to do is to just change the brand name. Probably we can choose Paula and um, let's pick a name, Laura. Paula and Laura. And then I will actually um, adjust the opening soon and then just pull it down just a tad bit lower. All right. There you go. I'm satisfied with that already. And I'm not going to change anything anymore. And um, what we are going to do next is to click on resize, you will find that on the upper left hand corner. So just beside file and um, actually beside the undo button as well. So I'm going to click on resize right now. And then a window will appear. And then it will show you that you can change into a custom size or you can actually um, choose from the recent resizing that you did. And of course, there are some preset design sizes as well. So here in the custom size, let's say we are going to change this to 250 by 250 pixels. So that's the standard um sidebar size so if you want to put this on your website or if you have a blog then you can use that size 250 by 250 pixels and then i'm just going to quickly choose from the recent items right here of course if you haven't tried this yet then you won't have anything here in the recent items so you might want to go here um in the preset sizes so let's choose facebook post all right um let me see if we have there you go and then i'm also going to choose another one and that's for instagram story so let me go ahead and check if we can find oh there you go it's 1080 by 1920 px and then i'm going to click on resize all right and then several windows will open and it will show us the resized um design now this is the instagram story so i'm just gonna quickly rename this all right so we won't be confused <laughs> i get confused sometimes so i have to really check now if you want to check what size is this um go to file and then um the file size will show so th this is 940 pixels by 788 pixels so this is a facebook post size and then the other one is the sidebar size so i'm just gonna quickly rename this to sidebar 
Okay, now let's go back to the Instagram story so we can adjust. Now, uh, let me remind you that this feature is not perfect. So you might have to apply some changes if you are not satisfied with the magically resized file. So like this one, I think I'm going to change the size of this photo. So again, if you want to make it bigger, you have to drag it outwards. All right, so there you go. And then let's quickly move this probably here right at the middle. All right, and maybe make it a little bit bigger. There you go. And then I'm going to pull this down a little bit so that the name will be front and center and people will be able to immediately see it when you open it up on Instagram. So there you go. I'm good with this design already. So if you want to download it, you just have to click on download and it will be downloaded. So. Um, let me click on download. There you go. It's going to download. And then we go to Facebook post right now. And there, we need to have this resized. So I'm going to click it and then just drag it a little bit so that it will fill up the space. And then I'm also going to increase this size um, of this photo. So it doesn't look awkward, all right? And I guess it's good enough already. So feel free to resize in whatever document size that you want. Um, if you see some um, discrepancies or some areas where it needs adjustments, then you can do so as well. Now, I'm good with this, so I'm also going to download it. So click on download. And then the last thing that we will check if the resizing is good is the sidebar size. So since it's also a square, like our original file, then I guess this is good enough. So I'm just going to quickly click on download again so that it will be downloaded to my computer and I will be able to use the three sizes. All right. So that's how easy it is to resize. It may not be perfect, but it gets the job done. So why don't you try it? It's one of my favorite features because it's really, really easy to use. You just have to click on resize and then choose the sizes that you want and then click on resize again and it will open in different tabs on your computer. Now, if you have a pop-up blocker, please make sure to deactivate that temporarily so that it will open several tabs. If you have the pop-up blocker, it will give you a um, window where it tells you that some of the windows or some of the tabs that are about to open um, were blocked. So you might need to deactivate it for a little bit or for a little while while you are using this feature on Canva. Now, there's another thing that I wanted to share with you. So we're going to close this one right now and this one as well. So we're back on our original file. Now, the other thing that we can try, this is square. So I think the other um, step or the other tip that I'm going to give you will not be applicable to this. So let me resize this to the Instagram post once more, and then we will work on that document. So there, um, let me just open that up, and then I'm going to re resize this again. Okay, and just adjust it a tad bit lower like we did earlier, and then adjust the photo, and then transfer it right here. Now, the thing that I'm going to share with you is update the orientation of the page. So remember, the orientation of our page is portrait or it's actually vertical. Now, what we are going to do is to change it to a horizontal file. So it's the reverse of the 1080 by 1920. So we are going to make like a presentation size document. So it will be 1920 by 1080 pixels. What we are going to do is to click on resize once more, and then we will switch the height and the width. Um, we're going to switch it. So this is 1080 by 1920. So we're going to change that to 1920 by 1080. All right, and then click resize instead of copy and resize. But of course, if you want to um, retain this file, you can click on copy and resize. But for this demo, I'm just going to click on resize and it will be resized. Now, it's pretty weird right now because our, our elements are actually just for a vertical um, format. So let's go and have some adjustments done so that our document or our file would look 
better. Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly turn this around right here like that and then drag it outwards. So again, when you drag it outwards, you're essentially um, making your file bigger. So let me just adjust how it looks like here for just 50% so you can see more. And then I'm going to drag this down. All right, so there you go. Maybe adjust this a little bit so that it shows up somewhere out there. <laughs> okay, so just play around with it when you have the time when you are. Oh, there you go. I think this is good enough. And then I'm also going to resize this name right here, the brand name and where it says opening soon. All right, and then of course, resize the photo as well so that um, it will be front and center and it will be obvious, okay? And then this new um, thingy right here, we can also resize. All right, so there you go. We have resized our files already. You can do more adjustments if you have time, but what I showed you is just easy PC, something that even probably your little kid would be able to do. I'm just quickly um, clicking on resize and choosing the options or choosing the sizes that would be appropriate for the files that you are working on. So just to repeat what we just did, we chose a template, but of course you can resize size your own design that is so um, we then chose different sizes a custom dimension as well as a um, preset design size and then we resized it and then quickly applied some adjustments and we were done with the three files in probably just a few minutes and then here as well we converted a vertical file into a horizontal file we had a little bit of a challenge because just what i mentioned earlier um you have to choose the file with um, the widest width um, it may sound redundant but i guess you can actually <laughs> um, understand what i meant so it, it will pose a challenge because we started with the narrower um file but then again um, we were able to manage to come up with a horizontal file as well. So we just reversed the dimension from 1080 pixels to 1920 pixels, um, and then um, reversed that to 1920 by 1080 pixels. So that's how you quickly resize on Canva. Again, this feature is only for those with Canva Pro accounts and also for those with Canva for Education, Canva for Nonprofits, and Canva for Enterprise accounts. So if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know if you have suggestions on what topics I should discuss in the future, please let me know. You can leave a comment down below. And also, if you have been using this already, let me know your thoughts about it. If this is something that uh, is included in your favorites as well. And of course, if you are not subscribed to the channel yet, I would be really happy if you will click the subscribe button and you will also click the notification bell so that when a new video is up, you will be prompted. So that's it for me for today. Again, if you have questions, go ahead and let me know. My name is Katie and I'm a Canva certified creative. Have a great day or night wherever you are. Bye now. Okay.